when you look at it that way. I mean, back in the day, people used to do things like that, sure, but it was just for bragging rights. Whereas now, everything's all tied to a, a monetary sort of reward, you know? That is awesome. The slash all can be upgraded to, um... Slash, I never knew that. I don't think anything will last with it. Oh, okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Keep going. How many? How many uh, slots do I have left? Okay. We're running out. Okay. All right. All right. Flashing now? No. Okay, I'll give you an elixir, mate. See if it can bash on you. What are your thoughts on the remake? My PC can't handle it, and I don't have a PlayStation. <clears throat> so I haven't played it, only seen and heard about it. Not my thing. I mean, I've got the best right here, right? This is the game that I grew up with. Um, it's a product of its time. It was made in 97. Um, and I'm not... I don't like the, uh... The, I think the director's Tetsuya Nomura. He did character design for this Final Fantasy. And so, like, 25... Well, 20-ish or so years on, they decided, Okay, we're gonna make you the man to take care of the remake. And look, he came over from Kingdom Hearts, and I'm like, okay, you did a thing with Disney, Wolfie too. Um, I was not a very big Kingdom Hearts person, but you know, I'm not going to yuck someone's young. I'm just saying, like, that just wasn't me. But then they put him in charge of the Final Fantasy remake, and I think that a lot of very questionable retcons have occurred. So it's it looks gorgeous. But, um, no, as far as me playing it, no. I'll, I'll happily watch someone. I'll happily watch someone play it, which I have. Uh, but would I want to buy and play it myself? No. No, I'm good. So those are my honest thoughts. Um, death. I'm gonna come on with the death. There we go, death. What a good ability. Takes ages to get to that level though. The original is the best, I appreciate the honest opinion. I mean, the original, like this game here, Final Fantasy VII, it changed everything. And it also spawned multiple games, um, spin-offs and movies. That's how you know it's it's the the beast, the beast. Because uh, after this game came um, Dirge of Cobras, featuring uh, Vincent Valentine as a spin-off game, and then you had Crisis Core, which was uh, uh, Zach. I don't know what his last name is. I didn't much like Crisis Core, but some people love it. I'm not a huge fan. Then you had um, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, which was a movie in the Final Fantasy VII universe, which I think was after the Meteor incident, and Sephiroth is still around, or whatever. Seven was a pioneer, you could say. Yeah. It really elevated JRPGs in the eyes of Western audiences. Before that, it was kind of a niche thing, even though we recognize classics on, like, the SNES. For example, Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy III, or six over in Japan. What's another classic? Secret of Mana, but that was like, no one really knew about it for the longest time. But yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy VII, like, it was a new console, but PlayStation. Games are on CDs. It was like a new technology, and it really kind of 
showcase like okay here is the benchmark for everyone and it was the benchmark for years until you know better consoles and stuff came out and it just it elevated jrpgs in the eyes of everyone but for that like it's it's uh, one of the best games ever made and so when people say oh remake like you could try to bottle lightning twice it's just very difficult to do and uh, in my opinion, they haven't been able to do it. It's allowed to exist, it's just uh, I'm also allowed not to play it. And plus, um, I'm not really a console person nowadays anyway. Um, I think PlayStation 4 is when I decided to tap out. It was just getting too hard to find consoles and uh, to buy games at decent prices. So I became like a uh, PC Master Race and um, a retro gaming emulator person. And I'm comfortable with that. There are some games that look really cool, but a lot of them um, are not exclusive to consoles. So they usually come out on PC eventually. So, I mean... There is that. And whenever there is a, um, a console exclusive, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll play it one day. Then like one or two years down the track, I'm like, oh, that game, yeah, yeah I remember it. No, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> remakes are never the same, but that's true. I mean, I there have been a couple of remakes, but I mean... Um, for an example of this, um, the only one that I, I tolerated, the, the Final Fantasy remakes for the Game Boy Advance, I have played Final Fantasy 4, which is my favourite game of all time. Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6. So I've beaten all of those. I've obviously beaten 7 multiple times. Um, I have played but not beaten 8, 9, 10, and 12, and 13. I've played but not beaten those ones. So I've played quite a few. Um, I have not played the original three on the Famicom, but um, I'm hoping one day that people redeem them. Um, what, I, what I mean by that is, like, I've got a little thing going where if you lurk in my stream, you get points from the retro ele the stream elements bot, and then these can be redeemed for... Um, it's, it's like a challenge sort of thing, challenge redeems. I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. So th I can do all of this without being a Twitch affiliate or partner. So it's it's nice. So here is my little store here. Um, people that idle in my chat, they get sixty five points every ten minutes. You don't need to sign up for this. Um, I currently allow myself to get points because sometimes you know people don't want to redeem things. They want to hold on to them for things later, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. But if I want to play a particular game, I will redeem it myself. So I'm still being kind of fair to my system. It's kind of being a cheeky boy because obviously if I'm accumulating points myself... But I'm doing it organically, I'm not giving myself points, so I kind of... Like, that's my cognitive dissonance there. If you follow me, you get 200 points, it's like a once-off thing obviously. Um, and if you host me, you get 150 points. Even though Twitch doesn't recognize hosts, I will still give 150 points. But anyway, um, you can redeem certain things, or not you in particular, but like anyone. They can redeem an item, and then I will play that game from start to finish. I have not finished, um, or usually I've not even played any of these games in here. Are there any exceptions? I have played a little bit of Mike Tyson, haven't beaten it. I've played a little, obviously I've played a little bit of Super Mario Brothers, haven't completed it. I've played a little bit of TMNT, didn't complete it. And Guardian Legend, I that was redeemed by one of my followers and it did complete it. That was a fun little game. But yeah, that's my little project. It's growing all the time. Yeah. I, uh, I look forward to people redeeming things in the future, but yeah, that's that. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, 
HP plus, thank you very much. How many bots do I have now? Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. I've got 14 spare. Alright, alright. Okay. So let's take off that. Okay, he's about to master that one. Let's say that that's mastered. So I'll take that off too. Arrange. How many HP pluses do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that will be the eighth one. And the rest I'll just get rid of. Yeah. That way, that's a cool system to go by. Yeah, I think so. A little. I'm, I'm proud of my store. It's, it's something like... I wanted to do, but I refused to become affiliate or um, partner on Twitch. I just don't want to deal with several aspects of... Like, for, I don't want people to come to my stream and give me money. I don't like that. I don't like... That, that's like, I guess, a separate issue, but... Also, I don't want to have to, like, worry about taxes and stuff. Um, and I don't like the fact that Twitch gets half of whatever is, going, is meant to be going to the streamer. Uh, I don't abide by that. But I have many um, friends on Twitch that are affiliate or partner, and like that's they they're really into the financials. Like they want the money. I'm I'm just built different. I I don't. So, yeah, that's kind of ended the story there. But I did. I was jealous of like the point system that a lot of affiliates and that well all affiliates and partners have access to. I was jealous of that, so I was like, well, can I do that without being affiliate? And the answer is yes, through stream elements. So I figured it out, and now I've done this um, little thing here. And I don't know of many people that have done this. I might be a, a very rare exception. But, um, you know, I hope to set um, an example for others to follow. Yeah. But, you know, um, Rome was not built in a day. Okay, so clouds are 96. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wait, wait. Do I need to put one more slump on someone? Yes, you. Okay, so what, what does Tifa want? Okay, we'll try and get some more of the, um, just the normal magic. Gravity. Good. Wait, let's just double check that I'm not right. Okay. That's that I definitely want something there. How about knots of the round? Oh yeah, let's 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 get that there. Okay. Yep, that's fine there. As of those two. another magic one then. Oh, no, you, you can have a Leviathan. No, no. Mastered, okay. Um, okay, so... Shield? No. Transform? Transform. Transform is not on anyone else, I don't think. Okay, oops. Oops! Okay... Seal. Good. Good. Okay. So I'm trying to grab um to grind everyone to level 99, but I'm also, you know, um managing material so that I can optimize this little grind session. Because even after I've um finished with the um achievements. I might want to go back and have a little bit of fun, like getting the, um, the sources from the Galnica. I like the way you run your stream. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the affirmation. I mean, I'm, I'm a person that doesn't really know how to take a compliment, but I will take a compliment. I, I graciously accept. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, like, um, let's just say I'm in between work, but this is by choice. Um, like, I'm, I'm trying to get Final Fantasy VII out, out of my system a little bit. Um, but once I do that, I want to do a bit more work on my website, my YouTube, and um, this stream in particular. And I, I finally had a bit of time to be able to do that, um, but not enough. So I said, like, okay, what's the balance here? Do I stream a bit more, or do I um, kind of fix the foundation of my stream? So I've been trying to fix the foundation, you know, by expanding the score. Um, by I'm going to be changing some of the um, the OBS stuff. Um, I'm going to be uploading some articles on the website. It's just getting around to everything, you know, because I have my IRL stuff like everyone else does. But um. Yeah, but for me, as of right now, I'd prefer to be streaming a little bit less, to be honest with you. I'd rather be doing a lot more behind-the-scenes stuff. Some people, they just want to get on the camera and they, they hate the behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm the opposite. I want to do more follow alerts, more raid alerts, more items in the, uh, the store. Um, I want to learn a bit more about... Um, uh, networking on Twitch and about how um, I can improve my stream, things of that nature. Um, yeah. So it's it's uh yeah. I'm a bit of a Twitch addict at the moment, and I'm looking to get into a bit of IT. Um, I've saved enough money so that I'm in a position where I can buy my own training, which is the intention. And I want to get a work from home position so that I can incorporate all of this. Uh, quality over quantity sometimes, yeah. Oh, the Knights of the Round got up and level. That's because I finally put on the uh, Apocalypse, which has triple material growth. God, that takes such a long time. Is that the one that takes the longest amount of time? I don't think so. Well, maybe it does. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for keeping me company a little bit slow. Yeah, I had, I had a couple of good chats today. Very rare for my stream. Sometimes I get quite animated. Because, um, like all of a sudden I have a few people in my stream. And I think that's because um, I've been making these changes. And also because... It could be that because I finally cracked 100 followers, something tweaked in the uh, Twitch algorithm. I'm not saying that I've been pushed, but maybe I'm becoming a little bit more visible now that I'm no longer a like, 5-follower streamer, you know what I mean? That's just one of the things I'd like to research in my spare time. Um, so this might be a bit of a beginner question, so bear with me. Mastering Summon Materia. What does it upgrade? Okay. So, for example, you've got all these... Um, you got Knights Round, you've got Phoenix. All these are summons. So once you have mastered all of them, you can go to Cosmo Canyon, go up to Bungenhagen's Machine, and then you can um, morph them all together into one Materia called a Master Summon. So that will have all summons and they can be um, used infinitely. So for example, this Knights of the Round, it's got three stars. That can be summoned three times in battle. When it gets to five, it is mastered. It can be summoned five times in battle. Now, once they're morphed into the master summon, they can be summoned infinitely. So it's, it's kind of cool. Found you by searching up Final Fantasy VII to let you know as well. I think, okay, I think that is also because of um, me putting the game category specifically as Final Fantasy VII. That's number one. But also putting in tags for Final Fantasy VII. I think I put in FF7. So, I mean, I feel like that's the easiest way to look for FF7. Just FF7. So, it could be that... Um, and also, I'm not, like, exactly sure of its release date. But it's been 25 years since uh, Final Fantasy VII has been released. 
So maybe like I'm streaming Final Fantasy 7 at a time when there's interest in a particular anniversary date or something. I don't know. In your case, you're interested because you're actually playing it at the moment. All these things are interesting. It's uh, you know, keeping. I mean, it's not like data driven necessarily, but it's like, okay, how are people coming through? Why are they coming through? Yeah. The ultimate aim of my stream, regardless of what game I play, I would like people to come to my stream to talk to me. That's my ultimate aim. But um, that sort of thing takes a lot of time, you know, to establish your personality and establish relationships. But, you know, I'm here for the long haul. I'm not going anywhere unless uh, Twitch kicks me off the platform for being too much of a fucking G. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Did I master something? I'm pretty sure I didn't. If it was just like a level raise for one of them. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh wait, I didn't check the inside. Ooh, that's getting close. Oh, I got the quadra, okay. Quadra! So... How much more have I got? Okay, 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 mm, okay. I've got MP plus, MP3, MP6. Okay, and I'm currently leveling up um, several others. So I'll have one MP plus and one MP... One HP and one MP plus on every character. Nice. I might have to just get rid of these HP pluses here. They're taking up room. Magic plus would be nice on everyone, but I mean, that's an impossibility. Uh, you keep my interest, so I'll be around no matter what game you play. It's always nice having a conversation, even with a stranger you just met, like me. That's exactly how I feel. That's exactly why I stream. And I think, like... It's almost weird to say I miss 2020, because when the pandemic hit... Uh, like, I was living in Japan at the time. Um, but because of the pandemic, I was not able to find stable work, so I came back to Australia. Um, and Twitch kind of was my social outlet, and I think a lot of people can relate to that story. Um, and even though a couple of the people I, I, like, watched during the pandemic and got to know are no longer really around, because, like, pandemic's kind of semi-over and people, like, going back to their work, jobs and everything, like, sorry, I'm, I think I lost my train of thought. Like, that's the whole reason of Twitch, to get to know people online. So it's, it's like social outlet, right? So for me, like, uh, it's like a creative outlet and a social outlet. It doesn't replace IRL friends, nothing can, but it's nice. It's nice to find, um, you know, a social outlet. Like, uh, back in the day, like, it was a bit different. You'd go to the pub or you'd go to a nightclub to, to meet new people, right? But, um, now it's all through the internet. We're in Australia, uh, if you don't mind. I live in Victoria. Was born there but moved to the US now. Ah, oh, I see. Ah, uh, WA. I'm a sand broke. Yeah. But um, I think I've only been... Uh, I've been to the East Coast twice. Once uh, I went to Brisbane and once I went to Melbourne for an interview. An interview that didn't pan out, but it's okay. Um, yeah, w Melbourne was interesting. I didn't get to see much of it, though. Um, I would have liked to have seen more. But, you know, it is what it is. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm just deciding what to, to bang on uh, old Vintin here. Has he mastered the... Oh, he's about to. Uh, I live near Melbourne, like 30 minutes away, give or take. Nice. Like, um, how far away are we from the capital now? The capital city of Perth. Um, still a fair distance, I'd say about an hour's drive. 
No, no, not an hour. Mm, about about between thirty minutes and, and an hour to the city. But I don't I didn't get out much. I don't own my own car. I just use public transport because owning a car is very expensive nowadays with, with the, uh, the Ukrainian war and uh, just the price of petrol nowadays. Like I don't want to own a car. I'd rather just use public transport when I have to get out. And um, like I mentioned before, I'm kind of angling for a career where I work from home. So yeah, we'll see how everything pans out. But yeah, so long as I've got stable internet, why would I want to go anywhere else? Like I, I worked in an office for about a year, saving up this money. Um, it was like a how long did I have to drive for? 30 minutes, sometimes more in traffic on the freeway. And I just, I hate driving. I hate driving, I don't want to commute. I don't want to dress up in like a uh, business clothes like I had to. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather figure out if I can make my own business, you know? And work from home. Yeah. Anyway. Look at all them enemy skills. Very nice. Mr. Mine. Yeah, I wish I never got a car. Crazy gas prices. Crazy insurance prices. Mm hmm Insurance, yeah. And it got stolen in under a month. Not good. Which is all good. I joke about it to make the best of a shitty situation. Yeah, I mean, that's that sucks, man. But if it was stolen while you had insurance, does that mean, like, uh, they give you a replacement car or something? Do they take care of you? Or is it just a case of, like, the shit out of luck? Because if that's the case, that's a bit, you know, that's not fun. Let's get another counter. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I hope you're able to, um, figure out, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard to figure out a situation when your car's gone, so. Hopefully your insurance company takes care of you in that regard. Slash all is born. Hey, as nice as having slash all was, get rid of it and get the baby one on. Get as many of them masters as possible. Oh, damn. I got money back, but I'm a car guy. Ah, okay. So I modded it, and they weren't giving me what my car was actually worth. They gave me the price of the car, so they screwed you. That really sucks. I've had similar, st well, not with cars. I'm not really a car guy, but I've had things where I've put in this, you know, I've put in time and energy into something, and I didn't get back what something was worth. So I, I can kind of empathize there. It was an old car with like uh, 15,000 invested. They gave me 1,500 based on what they thought it was worth. I tried to get more, but it didn't work out in my favor. Insurance companies, man, they just. They're insurance companies. There's a reason why they're hated. But, um. Yeah. That sucks. Cars are a tricky one, I guess. When it comes to insurance, like when you, when you you know rice them up. How many slots have we left? Okay, good. We're getting close there. They wouldn't even let me take off the parts I would put on. Why wouldn't they? But hmm. That's strange they wouldn't let you. Like, if you had the opportunity to. Kill, Vincent. Kill. Double cut is now four cut. Nice. Oh. Oh. 
they technically owned it when I did the claim, is the base to it. So it wasn't money on the air. Hmm. That's a catch 22, isn't it? And you can't really turn around and say, oh, look, don't worry about the insurance claim, just give him back my car. Because, like, it's gone through a process, hasn't it? Like, no matter what you do in a situation like that, it, you know, just seems like you can't get the, uh...